Hello everyone. Uh, I welcome to today's session. Today is ninth day. Today we will be discussing about uh, climate data analysis tool and plotting plotting package. Uh, there are multi, uh, three or four plotting packages available inside CDAT that I will show demo today. Also today I will cover the IREs. Let me vote. Yeah, today we'll start with the visualization, ECS and XM grace. In CDAT, uh, one module called VCS, it's a visualization and control system. Also, XM grace is the third party plotting tool. Mostly it will be useful for the line plot or marker plot. And we have Python embedded packages for that grace tool. Here we are calling this XM grace. So in VCS, uh, there are a uh, few concepts and terminology. You should understand first of all, VCS canvas, where that uh, all the plots being drawn and some graphics methods are there predefined example box fill iso fill or iso line or vector these many uh, multiple predefined methods are available and template this is the template uh, for a plotting template like a, how to control the title title font titles uh, position or title font size or if we have some comments from the data uh, which are plotting or units so uh, like uh, subplots or multiple plots or single plot everything can be controlled over the templates and some additional secondary items called primitives like lines or text create text create markers so likewise uh, available so these, uh, this is the technology we should understand so that it to be useful to plot it. So how to plot it? Just to import VCS inside CDAT and then uh, X is equal to VCS dot init. Once we done that, that object being assigned, the VCS class object being assigned to this object, then using that, using this X only, we are going to plot all the stuff. So we can do that X dot clear or X dot close to clear a multiple, if you already plotted something and then we can clear it and then we can reuse of it. Let me go to today's directory. Yes, uh, I would like to show that yesterday we installed Conda in Maker HPC. So once we do Conda ENV list, Conda environmental list, it shows that this is the basic base where that Conda has been installed and then we install uh, C.8.1. So to activate Conda 8.1. So once it is activated, now this, if you do which Python, then you'll come to know. This is my home directory. Inside that mini Conda 2 folder has been created, then environments within that C.8.1, which we created yesterday, and then win Python. You can do all the stuff here. So when you, when we do first time login, it may take some time. Yeah, now it is imported. So similarly, you can import all the stuff. 
but i again i'm repeating and some other scientists don't install by yourself because because already we installed it both uh, me here and uh, basker hpc you just need to search what is the module name module i while life and yes see that then i think three different versions are available as of now in me here then you can utilize one of them and again uh, i like to convey that if you are uh, using some predefined python or uh, system python in your bash or it's better to avoid it because uh, sometimes iris python and this python are uh, getting conflict see this this is see that 81 see that 8.1 and under utility utility node we have separate i requested them to make it run it in utility node so they compiled it at the little older version which i requested so there are uh, at least four modules available we can utilize this make sure you, you don't have any uh, dash rc Uh, what i mean to say that uh, some people some scientists uh, injected some python path exported python path inside our bash rc so if you are doing that then this will not work sometimes so take backup of your bash rc and then make it blank just like this nothing uh, there is no python path here just predefined python path just a module load So I just loaded GCC and W crypto just for my own purpose. Then this, uh, yesterday I mentioned that once we install Conda, then this will be added to your Bash RC. So I'll, I'll close this one. So if you come to my area, so you can create multiple uh, Conda environment. i have two or three for uh, this conda conda is like a kept name is anaconda like a python you know that python language so multiple python uh, thousands of packages they put together and then they used to call as anaconda anaconda used to have so many libraries thousands or 2000 libraries so from that they derived a mini conda so using mini conda we just installed very very minimal thing suppose this is my environment i have uh, different different versions because i'm involved in operational so i had to do this testing in my area and then i'll move to operational area so like a few cases i merged like iris and cd together it's fine then i'll go to come to my session come back to plotting so what we are going to do we are going to plot it yes uh, i have some nc files this is my local machine so I just loaded cdm must to on vcs when this folder nothing is there just so only 3c files are available so once it is imported yeah it's just imported 
So what I'm doing, I'm going to use this <coughs> as today's continuation. Just loading at AST, climatology data. So it is having 12 months. Since it's my data, 12 months, 180, 360, one degree by one degree. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, x dot, x is equal to VCS, v dot, yeah, vcs dot init. Now we can do x dot plot, SST of zero. Because the first dimension is time dimension. I'm just uh, taking the first time just for quick look. Uh, it comes with the south and north are being alternate. So what I'm going to do, I'm just clearing it. Then we can specify latitude. You can see that it just plotted the yes, sea surface temperature where the land are being masked. This is called canvas. So what I'm going to do now, yes, dot PDF, I'm just storing it. SST dot. So I can store into a PDF or PNG. Now you can see that uh, here this SST.PDF, SST.PNG has been created. You can see that how it is being like an isofill. This is isofill, or I, I don't know how in other package how they used to call. Or if you can open PNG file also. So in PNG, it's a little bit uh, resolution. You can see that difference. So I always go with the PDF so that it will be like it will be in a publishable manner, good quality. So next, yeah, you can go with the vcs.help to get the help. So then we can go with some predefined function. Suppose we can create UV, so the X dot create box fill. X dot clear, I'm just clearing it. So what I'm doing, I'm just doing X dot plot and my actual data. Then second argument is the box, whereas that box is created by X dot create box fill. Once we do that, this will be plotted in box fill method. It's not showing because I'm
I'll just store it into PDF. Since it's a very large data, it's not showing visibly. We can do even x dot box fill or x dot ISO fill, which will be plotted. Suppose if you go with the uh, sub regions, so then you can see it very clearly about this box fill. Since it's a very high, res high resolution PDF, it takes some time to load it. What I will do, I will just go with a slide, then I will go with the sub regions to plot it. box fill is there then further yes then there are some two uh, 2d graphics method called box fill iso fill iso line mesh fill vector or outfill outline continents Taylor diagram so these many predefined methods are there so we have to just use it uh, as per our need or if it is 1D graphics, uh, one dimensional. Then these many options are there like YX versus X or X, XY versus Y like a different different dimension is there on which, which line plot we want or just simple x versus y or scatter plot so we can create box fill as i mentioned so just to create our pass our name then x dot plot data of this box fill method so the box fill would be like this or if you go with the smooth one, then we have to go with the isofill. So this is the isofill. Let me show you this. So here one more. One more NC file is there. This one. This sample file that I will use it. No one is playing something. So CLT. So I just stored it in India.png. 
let me open that so now you can clearly see that box fill how this is the one degree by one degree so this is the one degree by one degree going with individual values suppose if we want to plot the continents then there are arguments available here continents so by default uh, while you installing see that contains some seven continents seven different types of continents start with 1 to 7 and 8 is which i customized let me go with the png So you can see that this is just having the only Indian Indian continent. And I do have multiple subcontinents for the Indian region. So you can have your own your own regions. Uh, you can produce own continents. So now you can see that it's just updated with the state-wise subcontinents. You may be thinking that so why it's uh, bulgy or uh, like the longitude is uh, stretched. That you can control. So uh, I mean, this program doesn't know how it should it should look like while you're plotting. So you, you have to control. That's available in the template. You can create a template. It's just name. Then you, if you do TMP dot list, you can see so many uh, sub members available within this template. So once we control this, then we have to pass this as another argument while you will be plotting. So here, this template only having all, all the meta information while we plotting like title and how title should be enabled or not, where the title should come. So in, in general in BCS and also in XM Grace, our canvas, uh, the position value always goes from zero to one. So starting with zero and one, like in both uh, X axis and Y axis. We can do a temp dot scale. You can do a template one. I just reduce the longitude scaling. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to plot. So while plotting, I'm just specifying this TMP. And I forget to clear. So I have to clear it once again, then I'll plot it. So, like this argument can be passed. Then one more argument called background BG. So if we are enabling BG is equal to one, it will be plotted in the background. That front end that canvas will not come. It it will be just plotted in the background and then it it will be saved. I mean we have to save it. So now you can see that uh, this x axis has been rescaled. Uh, so that our map will look uh, politically correct. 
so this is for box fill then we can use iso fill also i'll just show one more time so I'll just i fill in instead of So what I'm doing, I'm just show, showcasing another option. We can, we can go with the plot, just a plot. And then I'm passing my data set here. Then second argument template and third argument, which method we want to plot it. That's just isofill. Now this is size of it. Since this data, it's a total cloudiness data. Since this data is lying like this, it shows that uh, some kind of not smooth, very smooth one. But if you have smooth data, then that will reflect in your plotting. You can change your color template also. Next, I'll go. So, ISO line is there. If you want, just plot the lines or colored lines instead of filling. You can create x uh, x dot create ISO line that will be plotted. And vector is there, so we can create x dot create vector. Here, this argument with the name of your vector object. So usually we need the vector wings, so we can open u separately, v separately. And then only for this object we have to plot. Uh, we have to pass two data set together, u and v, then vector. So this vector is having uh, further fine tuning in terms of reference and the scale, scale of that vector. So that also we can control. And if you are going with the line plot, we can create, uh, cr as I mentioned earlier, create y x versus x. Then just the plot, x dot plot, your uh, one dimensional data set and then this object suppose if you are doing some zonal mean then that also we can plot here so within line plot you can control what color you want what line the line colors and then the markers wherever the points point is there that markers then marker color you can further fine tune it I'm not going detail in each and everything to show demo. So this is a uh, subsetting while plotting. In many ways we can subset it. This is another method. Just... Yeah, finally you can come to projections. There are uh, multiple projections available in CDAT. This is Lambert projection and this is a polar projection so how to create you can use a create projection then graphics method dot projection is equal to our p and p dot type multiple uh, they mentioned 28 possible projections available so we have to use one of them let me show this In VCS, you can do always list. So it will just try to bring whatever available. Right now it is linear. 
Let me go with this. So it is having so many things. Let me pick out. It was on P dot type. Yes, there are some 30 types available. So in VCS, I used to make mistakes so that it will throw proper error. So what uh, here they mentioned, like some 30 different uh, projections available, linear, UTM, Lambert, Mercator, Polar, Polyconic, Azimuth, Azimuthal and Equate, Equi rectangular, Miller. So these these are all things I know. So I just uh, showing that. It's a hammer plot also available, and Miller killer is diagram also available in VCS. Here we need to specify which type we want, and then this projection can be uh, we need to mention while plotting. So just again, they are showing some different examples. So we can use this also, x dot show projection, then it will list out. So like this default Lambert, more wide poly polyconic, polar, marketer, orthographic linear Robinson. Robinson. So what they're saying, like uh, we can control all the VCS text, text location, title commands and uh, title font, title size or comments, sub comments, title and its font size, data area, tick marks, each and everything we can control in the VCS. Like template ratio, if you want to change the ratio, we can change it here, I already showed you like a template dot scale, then which axis you, you want to scale it. Then we can specify which font by default uh, or different font. You can load your own font also. Also, you can move little bit X or little bit Y. And there are some other uh, utility available in VCS, something uh, method called E is a template from VCS add-on, import is a template. Once you loaded this, I have given example, using that you can create this kind of multi-plot. In a very simple manner, you can create it. You need to specify that the is a template dot multi, how many rows or how many columns you want. So that will be assigned to your multi object. Then what you need to do, just to uh, suppose this four by three, so I'm just lo looping through for I in range 12. Then within that, we can get m dot get. So that is template, that is sub template. That template we are assigning to some object called T. Then we are plotting our desired, suppose this location, if you want to plot something, then x dot plot, then this sub, sub template we are pausing. Then as I mentioned here earlier, uh, like some other uh, isofill or a box fill, whatever you want to plot it. So in this way, in a loop, it will just go from this order. Like from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So likewise, it will plot and you can have common legend also or sub uh, individual also, you can keep the legends. So more example, you can get it uh, detailed documentation from the see that website similarly you can create uh, ECS create text 
once you create it, then you, you can have multiple options to control it. Also, we should have, we can have this create marker. If you want to plot with some marker, then we can plot it. Well, let me show this. So right now, uh, whatever it is assigned, some default method is there. This is the type. One of the type is dot. There are multiple methods, but multiple types are there. Then we, once we choose the type, we can control size, color, and then where where it it, it has to pro, plot it. Uh, so I just I, I don't know how to get the list of types. So I just made some error and then it, it throwing proper error. So either this type should be within the strings, or we can specify the integer number varying from zero to two zero two. So in general, if you want to know that dot plus star symbol, circle, cross, diamond, triangle up, triangle down. So then again, fill the triangle, fill the triangle left, square, diamond fill. These many are there available and few more, some hundred, uh, exactly 103 weather symbols are available. That's a string called W00W01 to W102, and it's a respective number also being assigned integer. You know, this is called weather symbol, and it is cre created by me exactly 10 years before when I was doing MCA. If you want to know uh, what is that, I just go with my. This is my blog. Yes. So it's in August 30, 2010, I created this. This is a weather symbol. You know that uh, how severity the, in IMD people used to indicate uh, symbols using this uh, WMO pre prescribed uh, symbols. These symbols available in VC, uh, VCS in CDAT, and this is how I created when I was doing MCA. You can create your own uh, symbols and specify over any particular length long. So this is like this created for some different uh, project when I was doing MCA. So what I mean to say that I already mentioned that we can contribute back to our community. So they accepted my contribution and now it's became part of CDAT. Now this is about the markers. So in VCS, uh, CDAT, it used to, they used to have a graphical user interface, which I'm not covering because we are scientists and we should go with our, we should make dirt here our hand by doing coding rather than graphical user interface. But I'm not sure the current latest versions are supporting graphical user interface. 
I never used also. So if you want, then you can ask in the community. And you can create the animation in the VCS. Just loop through it and then create it. You can store into GIF format also. Here they mention uh, you can read the uh, shape files and create custom continent like this. Then one more package I want to mention, XM Grace. It's a Grace package. Grace is separate uh, graphics tool. So. Uh, You know, I like the this XM Grace very much because we can plot like all the one dimensional, uh, suppose line plot as uh, it will be created very much clarity. This, this is that Grace tool, which I mentioned. So this is separate package, but we have Python utility inside uh, CDAT, which is created by the CDAT team. You can just import XM Grace and then you can this example. So in yes, XM Grace, you can just import it in I never say that. Then XM Grace dot in it. So once you do the init, then this grace utility will come. You can see that here. So within this grace, you can plot or uh, you can't plot the map but other than map, we can plot all the one dimensional scatter plot or line plot. We can plot in a very detailed manner and it will produce very good quality figures. So I'm, I, I don't have much time to go with the, all the detailed one. I'll just go through the matplotlib, what can be done using matplotlib. We can go to this website. So this is a matplotlib uh, official website. Where is the... Yes, I'll just go with the gallery. Like in matplotlib, we can create this uh, simple one dimensional bar chart, line plot. Also in matplotlib, we can plot the, over the map also. So you can see that very, very much detailed the figures can be, very quality figures can be created using matplotlib. This kind of histogram scatter plot also can be created. As I mentioned earlier, we can create even ISO field, ISO line. Multiple figures can be created, and this is uh, creating heat maps. In matplotlib also, you can create uh, multiple subplots like this, or vector plot, streamlines. In VCS also, we can create streamlines. In matplotlib, we can create even dimensional uh, uh, figures. Really, it's a three dimensional, you can rotate it. Uh, you can go with, you can download 
one of the example if you click this it will produce the uh, example code you can just execute it even say that also having these uh, matplotlib you can import it there are so many uh, examples available here see uh, let's see this this one so once we have this you can rotate it i don't know this will work uh, or not let me Yes, it works in, in, in CDET also. You can rotate like. Yeah, it's rotating. Yeah, you can rotate. Uh, through mouse, you can rotate your camera angle. So in Matplotlib, uh, this is very much advantage. You can produce three dimensional figure and you can save in into uh, jpeg or pdf as a two-dimensional you can zoom it also and you can save it once you set it this everything can be done using program itself this uh, this or test of your camera, everything can be set it. I'm not expert in Matplotlib, but there are scientists available in NCMRWF who are experts in Matplotlib. I'll tell them, I'll introduce them tomorrow. So you can go with and maps also available. For that, uh, we have to use base map. The background can be used. You can search, search it here, how to, uh, become expert in matplotlib or if you are uh, happy with the cdat plotting tool you can come to cdat website there are uh, all detailed documents available you can go with each and every one cdms which i already seen and utilities here it will be showing uh, gen util cd util and cd scan everything then vcs if you come to vcs then whatever i showed it in the presentation that they used to show very in detailed one here and here each and everything you can go with that 3d graphics available in vcs also so detailed document documentation available here you can customize your color code whatever way you want or shading using patterns Taylor diagram let me go Taylor diagram and so it is having further pdf or more examples available yeah this kind of pattern you can utilize so you can see that very quality figures can be created so this is taylor diagram you can have taylor your own taylor diagram So you can make it both way tele diagram and you can keep some markers. So 
So you can create, you can merge, make it your own different, instead of RMS, RMS line, you can have your own uh, function, different function also you can inject standard deviation correlation in between these lines. Uh, instead of RMS, you can create your own line, own function. Like this is what they mentioned, default skill function. You can have your own uh, function. You can pause it here, how to have, instead of calculating RMS, RMSE, you can have a different uh, statistical method also. Like this uh, two way also there for the negative correlation. So they have mentioned how to control detail. Uh, you can go with this. Past 10 years, I'm using this uh, library. I couldn't go with other library because all my needed has been fulfilled within this library itself uh, called CDAT. Tomorrow I'll be showing uh, what are the products I generated using this CDAT or our operational product, both in terms of uh, data processing, uh, also while plotting, which are all available in our website. And today I, I couldn't get time to introduce Iris. Maybe or uh, tomorrow I'll just introduce. I plan for I, uh, it is today also. In Iris also we can plot it. Like they have some plot. But the main purpose of Iris is, uh, Iris they are plotting using Matplotlib. Iris is, what is Iris is? Uh, it's a package, initially designed it for, it's just alternate to CDMS, which we are trying to uh, read all the climate or weather data sets. But in IRIS also doing the same thing, it can read the NC files, it can read the GRIP2 files, and it can read the PP files, PP file and FF file, which is uh, detailed created for the unified model. This is the IRIS package. Tomorrow I'll show a demo how to read the PP file through IRIS and I'll show the meta information. And main advantage of IRIS is this, uh, using this, we can write into GRIP2 file also. So that is what I felt uh, much uh, advantage in IRIS. We also customized as per our uh, NCMRW uh, needed. This IRIS we customized. That also available in GitHub. In IRIS also we can do the, using this map. They are using Matplotlib to plot it, but uh, they are reading Unified model. Not only Unified model, they are supporting many things including one of them is the unified model reading PP file or FR file. And let me come to question session. Yes, uh, yesterday somebody asked about uh, how to install. So I mentioned detailed procedure. Uh, this also I mailed you to everyone, those who have registered, how to install CDAT. The procedure here, you can follow this. Okay, and come to today's question. Is it possible to plot buffer per buffer files directly in CDAT as we do it doing with NC files? So far, uh, I never used buffer file format, but I do know that in Python, there are packages uh, available to read it. So what can be done? We can install that package. I think PyBuffer is there. Within CDAT, we can install within CDAT environment. Using pip command, we can install it. Then once we install, we can read the buffer format as it is. Then whatever way you want to plot it, you can plot it or you can do all the 
statistical computation can be done. So buffer format is there. Yes, pi buffer is there. We can install this or pi buffer ECMW package also there using pip command. We can install it and then we can read that buffer buffer uh, file format and we can plot it. Is there any question in the I think no question so far. The zoom. Today I plan to show the iris, but I didn't get time to show that. But tomorrow I'll show iris and I'll just introduce uh, how to handle the CDO commands inside Python. Just show a real time example. Then finally, I'll conclude the uh, session with tomorrow's session with the water in what ways python being utilized in ncmrwf i'll just go through quick demo for that uh, also today also i mentioned the homework so you have to make that to your hand by doing this experiment so once you're done then it will be very easy you, you will not go to any other tool 90 90 percent of work can be done using only this library itself And yesterday also I mentioned uh, homework. Do do this, and if you are able to do it, then let me know. Even for Python, also I just given the homework. So try to do this homework. Uh, you'll be enjoying this. So with this, I'm concluding today's session. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Hope everybody understand what I showed it today. Thank you.